Aha! Hi everyone. In the previous lecture, I did cover what risk and relative risk were and how to interpret the result in a clinical study. In this lecture, I'm going to go over relative risk reduction. So, risk is basically the probability of an event. And I did mention that an event, it could be a side effect, could be a condition that the medication um, is having. And this is something the researchers are looking up. So basically, the equation for the risk is number of people with an event, cough as a side effect or could be a condition in the group over the total number of people in that same group. And I did also cover in the previous lecture relative risk, which is risk in the treatment group. So the result from here would be the risk in the treatment group over the risk in the control group. And we had three conclusions from this. If it's over one, larger than one, if it's equal to one, if it's less than one. So for this lecture, I'm going to go over relative risk reduction, which is also referred to as RRR. So what is relative risk reduction? We're basically trying to see how likely the treatment group is reducing the risk of the event in comparison to the control group. That's basically what it is. So, relative risk reduction also has a formula. And the formula for this is basically the percent of risk in the control group minus, because we're trying to see how likely it's relative risk reduction. Reduction means we're subtracting. So percent of risk in the control group minus percent of risk in the treatment group. Over risk in the control group. So here, the percent risk in the control group. So here basically, we're going to take the risk in the control group, subtracting that from the risk, percent risk in the treatment group over the percent risk in the control group. And that should give us the relative risk reduction. Another way to do this is basically, if you had a question, or if you see this in a study, in an article that you're reading, and you see a relative risk, and you're like wondering, okay, so what is the relative risk reduction? What you can do simply is basically take the relative risk, which is RR in this case. So what are you gonna do? Another way of doing this, you would take so here, relative risk reduction equal one minus relative risk. So once you get the relative risk from this equation, you can take one minus that, and that should give you relative risk reduction. One thing to keep in mind though, in this equation, you could use decimal places and percentage. So over here, as you can see, I did add the percentage for each one of them. And that's okay. We could use percentage because I did say in the previous lecture that relative risk, we can represent that as a percentage. So going back, let's say like 0.1 or we can represent it as 10%. So depending on which one you're going with or which one the study is giving you, you could use either one of them in this equation. In this equation, you can't. You can only use the decimal place. So in this one, only decimal, no percentage in this one. So this is something just to keep in mind. 
So now let's jump into the example, which is the same example I gave in the previous lecture to better understand what risk, relative risk, and relative risk reduction are. So here in the example, we're asking, does lisinopril, which is an ACE inhibitor, and it's known to cause cough, cause more cough or less versus placebo? So does it cause more or less cough in comparison to placebo? So we have the numbers of event here with lisinopril is 5 and 10 with placebo. We have 100 patients in each one of the group. So let's calculate risk first. So risk for the lisinopril, the treatment group, is going to be the number of people with the event, which is 5, over total, which is 100. So the answer would be 0 0.05. And risk for the placebo is just make it a star. It's going to be 10, which is number of people with an event over number of total people in the group. And that's going to give us 0 0.1. So now that I have a risk for each group, let's calculate the relative risk. So I said relative risk is basically the risk in the treatment group, which is 0 0.05 over risk in the control group, which is the placebo over here, which is 0.1. The answer is 0.5. So what I said, the interpretation for this was, and this could also be represented as 0 0.5 multiplying by 100. If you don't like to have a decimal or, or if we see it in decimal or in percentage, so it's going to be 50%. So what does this mean basically is that lisinopril, the treatment group, is as likely to cause cough as placebo group. So pay attention, it's, I'm saying, as likely. So now let's go over relative risk reduction. So relative risk reduction. So a relative risk reduction is basically one minus relative risk, okay? So we have two equations. If I'm going to be using this equation, then I need the decimal one, as I can't use the uh, percentage one. So it's going to be 1 minus 0.5, and the answer is 0.5. So what the interpretation for this, it's going to be, basically, it's going to say the treatment group or the lisinopril group is 50%, okay, it's 0.5, which is 50% if we multiply it by 100, so multiplying by 100, it's going to give us 50%. It's 50% less likely to cause cough as placebo group. So pay attention, here we're, I am saying is less likely, here I'm saying as likely. So it's really important to understand the difference in between relative risk and relative risk reduction. So this one is less likely, and this one is as likely. So if I were to be doing the longer form formula over here, this equation, and instead of doing the small one, let's say I don't have relative risk, right? Then I have to do this formula. Or you could do the relative risk and one minus that if it makes it easier for you. But you can do this instead, which is, so over here, relative risk reduction, let's go with the longer formula. Um, like I said, it could be in percentage or it could be in decimal. 
So let's see here. So what I have over here, I have, let's go with the decimal places. So we have 0.1 because we have relative risk in the control group. So relative risk in the control group is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05, which is the relative risk. Actually, it's 0.5. Oops, 0 0.05. So 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05. This is the risk in the treatment group over the risk in the control group, which is the placebo, which is 0.1. So 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05, which is the risk in the treatment group over the risk in the control group, which is the placebo, 0.1. So, after this, you should end up with 0.5, which is the same answer as we got over here with this equation. The relative risk reduction, one minus relative risk. So these should give you the same answer because it's the same formula. We're just using, we're just doing it a different way. That's all. So the same conclusion could be drawn from this as it's the same formula. So the treatment group is 50% less likely to cause cough as placebo group. So this is it for this lecture. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.